All right, we are back, and we're going to have the interview with Mithir Seria, the Albion's newest community manager. Bogle, are you here with me? I am, yes. All Let's right, go. we're going to play this. Uh, Bogle, you just need to meet, mute your mic because this is going to be running on desktop audio. I hope you guys all enjoy this, and we will talk to you again soon. Welcome to Albion TV. Today we will be interviewing Mithir Seria, the new Albion community uh Manager, correct? Community manager is your title? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yep. Sometimes I get confused with all these different titles. I don't even know what my title is currently. <laughs> I, I do have Bogle with me as well. Uh, everybody say hello. hello. Hi. Hi. All right. So we're going to be getting to know our new community manager today, and we're going to do the basic hello, how you doing conversation, a little bit of small talk, if you will. So let's get right to it. Where did you come from? How did you get here? And how do you like it so far? Yep, so I came from Singapore, um, but before that I was actually in London, so kind of all over the world in a way. I got here to Berlin in June 2019 this year, uh, started at Sandbox, I guess, so it's about two months now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a, an interesting couple of months here. We've had a lot of things happening. Uh, how have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been a lot to catch up on. Um, I've been learning a lot from Elsa because we're sharing um, the community management role. Um, Elsa wants to get more involved in the creative stuff as well and also do some ganking. Mm, <laughs> so mm. I'm here to help her get um, more free time to do that. Um, I think it also came during a time when we we're going to launch Festival as well. So there was a lot of stuff to do. And then the week after was the anniversary um, so, yeah, it was just full on um, <laughs> for me. Oh, so you're probably not even getting to enjoy the downtime, are you? We have for us uh, in Albion TV, we're in the the off season. But for you in community management, that doesn't happen, does it? You guys are just getting ready for the next big thing. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, as you can see right now, we're doing some forum contests. Uh, we plan on doing more of those and also uh, some more out of game and in game events. Uh, and also, I mean, after Percival launched, we were gathering a lot of the player feedback on that as well as in general um, from all our channels. So the forum, Discord, Reddit and Twitter. And now we're just pushing for changes uh, in the dev department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have to say I'm uh, a big fan of signatures. I made one of our community managers signatures. You tell me more about this this contest. I would like to hear more about it. Well, I mean, the first one was Tell Your Story that ended uh, last week. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, something to kickstart the off season. Uh, and then actually we had a bunch of ideas for, I guess, this one and the future forum contest. Um, but Elsa was really sneaky <laughs> and uh, kind of was like, yeah, I've got an emergency um, you know, one to use just in case the other ideas don't work out. Okay. And on the day itself, uh, he was like, uh, Mr. Sira, can you come and take a look at this? Uh, can I have your permission to <laughs> post this? And I was like, ah, so this is what you've been hiding the entire time. Mm. So yeah, we have to give Elsa the credit for that. No, I like mm. it. It's, it's, a, it's a good one to have in your back pocket there. And I like how he pulled it out on you. So for those who are looking to make a signature, right? Uh, is yeah. there anything that you like? Do you have any, uh, I, I don't know, do you like a, a certain type of movie or books? Or is there any kind of character that w would help you uh, or help somebody get that signature position to make you choose that? You know, some insider tips. Yeah, sure. Um, well, I like horror. I like World of Darkness, uh, RPG. Uh, so actually, Mythosira comes from a discipline of the vampire series in that uh, RPG. Um, and I always had this idea that my character in game is kind of like a secret Morgana worshipper or follower. So yeah, as you can see, there's some people who already put Morgana stuff up, uh, which is cool. Um, and I guess for the Avatar, it comes from Suspiria, the movie, the new one, which is about a bunch of witches uh, living in Berlin in a dance academy. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, you can make of that what you will. That's pretty cool. Uh, you mentioned other forum contests coming up, too. Mm -hmm. um, can you... Can you give us a tip there? What <laughs> or are you hiding these still? Or? 
What's yeah, the... it's supposed to be a surprise. So like, Aww, okay, um, okay. yeah, that it will come soon. I mean, after we finish this one, it will come. The next one will come very soon. Oh, okay. right after. Okay. Pretty okay. much. It, it sounds like we'll have lots of interesting uh, events coming up. I like this. I'm enjoying that. I, I, I have to say, I liked the first one, too. The first story that we got, we actually did an interview with White Pipe recently. Uh, yeah, who, who oh, that was the... great. <laughs> yeah. it's a, that was such so well done. And the, the comic book is or the, the comic as well, whoever mm-hmm. drew that, you can tell they have some they have some skill there. And they were like, you know what? Let's make this for the Albion fans. I like I like their style. It was good. You mean Michelin with the comics yeah. or yes. the drawings? Yes. Yeah. 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 Sorry, yeah, I can't. I can't. Cool. Too many names. I'm glad that you. Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> look at you becoming involved in the community already. Already remembering more names than Chosen. That's. I mean, that's not a, a huge accomplishment. No, I'll tell you, no, no, Chosen no. forgets all the names. It's it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I think I also noticed uh, Michelin because uh, she keeps asking for the pale white skin tone as well. Mm. So yeah. Interesting. We're looking into that. <laughs> For the characters. Oh. Yeah, okay. the characters. So uh, let's talk about your transition again. Uh, were there any big moments during that transition that you were you look back on? You were like, oh wow, that was that was tough, or um, that stick out as going that was great. Just something that sticks out that you're gonna remember going forward. Yeah, so I can do both great and tough. Um, great was actually like, because uh, I was in charge of dealing with the content creators for Percival. So we got a bunch of them in, gave them gold giveaways and um, helped them with their stream in a way to promote their streams. Uh, that was really fun because uh, it was a way for me to kind of get to know the community a bit more. Mm-hmm. I, was, I wasn't really active on the forums back then. Uh, it was uh, great because I think um, we started uh, engaging content creators of different languages as well. Mm-hmm. So people who felt like, oh, no one will ever recognize me from SBI. <laughs> and then they got this email saying, hey, would you like to do this and that? And they were really, yeah, they took it on really well. Uh, that was something that I really enjoyed and also looking into maybe providing more long-term support for them. That's fantastic. Uh, that, yeah, for the future. Um, for the tough one was probably, I guess, all this, <laughs> the issues. I mean, we've been through Ooh. this a lot. Yeah, I was also learning from, I guess, Elsa as well, like what to do in that situation and how to provide clear communication to the community Um, and also understanding, you know, how frustrating it is for people who are suffering from all the rubber banding and disconnects and, I don't know, just trying to alleviate the whole thing, really. Yeah. That is, it's never easy. This is not the first time we've gone through this and every time it's just... It's so heartbreaking, you know, because it always feels like we've just done something amazing. Like we either have released a great content patch, we've just gone free to play or released the game. Uh, Something great has happened. And then they're like, you know what? Let's see what we can do to make this difficult for you. And it turns out the last one, the big one, we were just a coincidence. That's what made it so rough. It's not even us who was the target, but. It's really good to see that they're making long-term plans, changing the provider and migrating to another one. But, oh, it's got to be tough on the inside right now. A lot yeah, of hands and I head think, moments. Yeah. Yeah, Let no, I think the whole team was, like, working over time. And, like, it was tough because, you know, we were staying up till really late just trying to get this out to players and everything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, sorry, Vogel. <laughs> I think you wanted to say something. Uh, yeah, I, I, I jumped in there. Sorry. Uh, but I wanted to follow up because you mentioned that you have been engaged with some of the content creators recently and mm-hmm. the I'm assuming some Twitch guys as well. I was just curious what your interaction there is and how people could either get in touch with you or how you were looking forward to, you know, getting and staying in touch with the community if they want to discuss something specific or if they have anything cool going on that they want to share with you or what the best way um well i think the best way would actually be to contact me on discord um i have it on it's on my forum uh profile and everything um so i'm not sure if i should mention the name here but you can do you can you can name it here um but all of our discord names are mentioned here if you want to do that if not that that's yeah so yes mythosyria 3744 so just you know, send me anything on Discord and I'll reply. I do respond to pretty much everyone except people who 
a time waste is. <laughs> yeah. No, but like um, who spam and everything. Yeah, but um, otherwise, uh, that's the best way to contact me. Other or else, you can also send in something to press at albiononline.com if you, uh, I guess, for streamers or people who want to, I guess, partner up with uh, SBI or Albion. Yeah. I'm really glad that you're uh, making another more effort into supporting our, you know, our streamers who speak other languages than English because we have so many of them and some of them have hit incredible numbers. Our, our Portuguese streamers are amazing. They have hit incredible numbers. Uh, we have some Russian streamers that do incredibly well. And we have the the French community has an, a huge number of streamers. And I didn't even realize that so many of them were French until I started following them and realizing that they had specifically French streams. So it's been very interesting to follow our streamers and the progression that they've gone from from release to now and how dedicated many of these guys are. Many of them have been around forever. And it's really great to see more support going their way. So thank you from a streamer. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, no worries. Like, I really enjoy helping you guys. Um, yeah, and also just anything interesting, like... Uh, I think uh, recently we had a Russian streamer called Marvels who did like an art competition for his uh, viewers and the winning entry, we posted it on our Twitter and everything. We're looking for stuff like that, you know, just highlighting uh, community events. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I try to cover some community events myself. I've been trying to cover the, I don't know if you're familiar with Fun Stealer, but he makes oh, yeah, a lot I know of... Fun Stealer. <laughs> I, I, I was pretty sure you would know him by now. He's He's not shy. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love to find some way so we can get some of those games that he's playing into more of these community events. Because as you were saying, community events, all I could think of was all the fun stuff we've been doing recently on the test server, such as his last main standing or his battle royal or even Albion soccer, which we've seen a number of guilds do now. We saw uh, MAGA. Was that it, Bogle? MAGA was make MAGA soccer? Mm-hmm. 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 I think I saw the whole soccer thing as well. Um, yeah, I heard about that. And I guess there was also bounty, bounty hunter events and everything going on, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, there's there's always stuff going on. And the, the Red Zone now has even more anti-gank guilds, once again, seeming to oh, yeah. be weird, <laughs> like daily weird events that are just unusual in, in and of themselves. So Albion's always popping with community events. The The problem is it's sometimes it's just hard to find them, to cover them. <laughs> So please, if you have community events, we here at Albion News would love to cover them and, you know, shine more of a light on these great community creators and content creators that we have here because I love them. They make this game really enjoyable. Yeah, for sure. I do have one question in regards to the languages you mentioned. Uh, Chosen mm-hmm. mentioned that the we have different streamers of different languages. That's cool. And since you said that you have a history being from Singapore or from at least working there for some time before going to London, I was just curious uh, because it's one of the hot topics right now um, with the GVG consolidation and other stuff that some of the South Asian and Oceanic community is is wondering about um, both content and maybe language support do we do we know if there's any um things you have in mind there or things that might be coming up or anything you could say to that topic because it's pretty hot right now um i know of some things coming up but i don't think i'm allowed to say that (laughs) yeah unfortunately (laughs) sorry (laughs) well that's enough okay i'm sure that our community will be happy at least knowing that there are things coming up we often do that to our our guests and we we do apologize we have often put people on the spot robin was not very (laughs) happy with us last time he was like you just got three dev talks out of me come on guys (laughs) i have to do do this all right we'll just uh yeah no no we have we have to pry a little bit or we just wouldn't be getting our reputations Hmm. well i guess bogus the economy mastermind or something right Mm -hmm. (laughs) and um so you're probably good at getting all the information out I try, I try but some people are very are very tough not to crack and uh, i think dealing with the alien community sometimes uh, just requires a little bit of um how to say being steadfast and uh not getting pushed too much but that's yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to to the future there 
All right. Um, well, we're. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering. We're all through our questions here. Is there anything you would, else you would like to go over before we end this interview? Or is there anybody you would like to give shout outs to? Anything you'd like to say to the community? Mm, well, I guess in terms of like uh, future stuff, um, I can talk a little bit about that. Um, um, I mean, apart from the long term support for content creators, etc., we have been started doing more community videos of the week. So um, just advertising that on Twitter as well as putting that within our uh, community videos on YouTube channel. So we're just kind of hunting out for people who are making really cool stuff. Um, and then in terms of events, uh, apart from the forum contest, probably possibly tournaments and Ooh. we will probably also have themed random dungeons for <sighs> halloween we're okay yeah. that's something we've had that in the <laughs> past we've all really loved that we've gotten them for halloween we had a little bit of one for christmas i believe with fire i mean or was that i don't even remember when that one was we used to have some themed dungeons we loved those those were fun i'm looking forward to them again i will help you cover them if you want to you know do an event I, I will be there for it i will host that yeah yeah that would be great like i'll get in touch with you for sure uh, tournaments too as well i gotta tell you i yeah. love tournaments but tournaments we're gonna have to talk uh cold hard cash here that that's time consuming <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> but no promises but like, right. yeah we, we can have a talk <laughs> all right all right sounds good uh well thank you very much for being on mythosaria we really appreciate you and coming and joining our family of uh the albion community i know we can be a little rough and salty at times but deep down we're, we're all pretty soft uh, and, and enjoyable people except no that's not true i i misspoke <laughs> there some of us are really nice people and and, you know, you might have to, as they say, be careful and uh, keep your eye out. We're dangerous folks here in L. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's better to be passionate about something than to be blase, right? So oh, it's absolutely. all good. Absolutely. No, the, yeah. they, they do not lack passion in our community. And I'm sure that you're going to see a lot of people who want to get involved with uh, not only with the signature contest for the, for the, the premium, the half year premium, but also to gank with you and elsa people love uh the ganking with elsa and if they know elsa is out and i'm streaming it we're gonna have lots of content trust me they will be sniping us it'll be a lot of fun bring yeah, lots of sure. sets <laughs> i'll probably give elsa zero assist like i did last time <laughs> yeah <I will>. well <laughs> you're gonna have to do more than that because i think elsa has recruited me to be there too to at least record it so uh i'm gonna you, you're gonna have to pull some weight there i don't know I'll, you know we'll hit you up with the one-handed mace you can just silence him we'll get roselia okay, to make sure. some builds yeah yeah all good <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you very much bogle is there anything else you would like to say no, uh, I also just want to thank you for your time. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you around in the future. And a uh, big, big welcome to you from my side as well. Yeah, thanks so much for the welcome, guys. And also taking the time out to do this interview. It's really cool. Oh, it's our pleasure. We absolutely love doing interviews and getting to meet more members of the community uh, is what we do. And uh, we want to introduce the community to our community managers. Hopefully we can get Elsa on here one day. Do you think we can do that, Bogle? Oh no! <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think, yeah. I think we're all set here. Thank you very much again. And uh, I hope we yeah, can conver can have another conversation in the future. And if there's anything that you need from us at all, like you want to have help working on a contest or something or promoting a contest, we would love to help in any way we possibly can. Yeah. Well, thanks very much um, for the offer and everything. Yeah, it's really nice to chat with you guys as well. I enjoyed it for sure. Good. Um, yeah, and maybe we'll chat another time soon. All right. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Cool. Bye. Goodbye. All right. Thank you guys for listening in. I hope you enjoyed that interview with Mithrasaria. And uh, please get involved with all of the contests that they will be running in the near future. It sounds like we have a lot of them coming up. Hopefully we'll get that tournament and those uh that Halloween event has got me excited. All right. Thank you again. And uh, see you tomorrow at 18 UTC right here on, where is it? Twitch.tv forward slash Albion online and on SoundCloud forward slash Albion TV. Thanks again.